Breaking news here locally, a mistrial has been declared in the case against Cliven Ammon and Ryan Bundy and their co-defendant. This just happening now and we've kind yeah. of been expecting this. Yeah, they, we, were, we were hearing that there could be possibly the possibility of a mistrial anyway. News 3's Kendall Lindley is live at the federal courthouse. So Kendall, you've been covering this for a very long time. The big question is, what's next? All right, that is the question for everyone here. I can tell you that we are expecting to see the Bundy family back in court. That'll happen early next year. This trial resetting that new court date set in February. Now, when it comes to the details behind this, the reason for the mistrial, that also another big question. The U.S. District Judge says that evidence, including surveillance videos, maps, and even FBI interview logs, was intentionally kept from the Bundys and the defense team by the FBI. Now, the argument here, had the defense had those additional um, of key evidence points, a completely different set of questions could have been asked of potential jurors, which also means they may not have selected the jurors that were already sitting in on this trial. The judge did make it clear that a mistrial does not mean that the Bundys are off the hook, ruled as not guilty, but instead says that a fair trial would have been quote unquote impossible moving forward. The Bundy family has faced more than a dozen counts for the armed standoffs with BLM agents on their ranch back in 2014. Today we caught up with one of the sons, that's Ryan Bundy, as he walked out once again from today, a ruling of a mistrial. Their job is not to get convictions, and yet that's what all they've been seeking, and they've been doing it at whatever cost they can, lying, deceit, whatever. And that's not that's not what our government's supposed to be. Our government and, and the prosecutors thereof are supposed to be seeking justice and the truth, uh, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Now, Ryan's brother Ammon also walked out of the courtroom today. When it came to their father, Clive, and he is still in custody. His attorney does tell us here at News 3 that they are filing an emergency order to get him out of custody. For now, they're reporting live in downtown Las Vegas. Kendall Nunley, News 3. All right, thank you, Kendall. Appreciate that update. Okay, now let's go out to Washington where the president has